This will never work. No. <laughs> it's actually going through my head. What was? How this would never work. It wouldn't. No, we uh, we need a straight man. Yeah. Feet, maybe? Is that red? Am I that red? No, not at all. Is it the lighting? Yeah, then cut to me. Am I this, am I this translucent? Yeah, come on. We got to figure that out. Yeah, it's, this juxtaposition is wild. Uh, switch. You want to switch me seats? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, can we cut to Kyle? Is he red? Yeah. See, look at that. That's a good hue. That's a damn. And cut to me. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty pink, but that's okay. Uh, there's Mincy in his last day, last day clothing. What a fit. What a fit. He looks uh frantic. Maybe that's just always him. Sassy boy, what's up, friend? How's it going, boys? You guys are going to be a little late. We're doing pro football show. Pro football show. Roan, I think, is filming something with Tommy. So it's just the boys. And let's have a little fun by getting serious as hell. <laughs> Sa uh, uh, Za, what's going on, brother? I'm good, man. What's going on, man? I saw your tweet. Uh, everything good? Yeah, yeah. It's, it it's, uh, got figured out. Thank you to, to the stoolies that reached out. We're uh, one degree of separation from figuring that out. So it's a matter of time. So somebody made a website. Did you see that? No. Oh, I did not see that. Maryza.com. <laughs> oh, what's, what's going on? Citizenship stuff, I believe. Uh, oh, visa oh, stuff. No, visa stuff. Yeah. Visa, stuff visa stuff. Visa stuff. Yeah. Uh, Forget about that. Can we check out Maryza.com? Maryza. I, 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 I think somebody made a website. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Did you? I didn't oh, click the... Oh, shit, it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, hold on. So, we don't have TJ back here. How about we do that when TJ's back? We'll do it when TJ's back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Mer it's a active website. Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at it. Would you Would you get married? Would you have a visa wedding, Zuck? No. No. It, what if she was it, bad it, as fuck? Bro, you know yeah. what happens? You know what they do? So, so I actually explored that back in 2014 when I graduated college with my bachelor's. Yeah. And, uh, you know, things were, things were tight. Uh, I ended up having to go back to school because I wanted to stay in here and not leave. What they do is they will charge you, they will charge you like 10 grand for the marriage. So what it is is they give you a conditional green card. You have to be married for three years. Ah. So it's conditional for three years. So they accept you pay them ten grand, and then within those three years, you know, they tell you divorce or pay up. Really? Type of deal, exactly. So that route is that route is a risky business, man. But what if she's bad as fuck and rich? Zah. All right, I'll Zah. do it then. I'll Bad do it then. ass. <laughs> Bad <laughs> ass. I'll do it then. I'll do it then. <laughs> then All right. I'll do it. So okay, look at this. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, so somebody made a time machine, made this website in two thousand four. Yeah, that's insane. I didn't know you could still do this. <laughs> like Alfred. This is crazy. I whipped that up in like Mrs. Hillberry's class. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first password in Miss Hillberry's class? You got to sign a random I, oh, word. Oh, and I think I remember. I think it was like a school supply. Mine was pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and mine wasn't pencil, but it was well, everybody the same, got a random the same supply. arena as pencil. Yeah. Not like lead or anything like like in the like a school supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like lunchbox. Yes. That was Logan Seidler's, not yours. You guys have lunchboxes? Oh yeah. So that was, mine looked like a football. Go, it was like it was. Like, it looked like an actual football. It had like a like a leather coat on it too. Really? So it was the size of a football. Oh, you had a lunchbox? Yeah. Oh, like till when? That's like a till fourth grade. It's a till. Uh, mine was probably before that. Probably till yeah, second grade. Then I Something brown like bagged. That, brown bag. Yeah. And then I would get ma mad when my mom wrote my name like too fancy. Oh. Yeah, no name. No. You didn't do name on your uh, bag. No, no, I, I'm nothing the one who had it. It was it was with me the whole time. I'm not gonna get confused. I stopped lunchbox early, but I did non uh, paper bag book covers too late. I, yeah. I I did like the stretchy ones that you could wear as a do rag. Always, always. Yeah. I, I I think I did that forever. Really? You didn't do paper bag? Mom, no, those are way easier. My mom wrapped my sandwich in foil, which I still resent her for. I don't know why. I just bought, it made the sandwich worse somehow. I did, well, I, it's better than the sandwich being in Saran. You, who did that? Yeah, my well, mom. Mine was always in foil. Saran? My mom would Saran them. What would you prefer, a Ziploc? Ziploc, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I was always a foil. My mom was the worst lunch packer fucking foil? ever. 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 
Uh, my mom knew what she was doing. Uh, my, mom, no, no, my mom was she half-assed. Work her, yeah. She half-assed it big time. I, 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 I brought it up, and she was like, yeah, I wasn't good. Ba- back to our computer class. We had did you, Sass, did you have like a computer class? We had a computer class when I was in like elementary school. We had yeah. to walk we to have a building that was an orphanage. We had our co- kids would r- run around amok. So our school was next to an orphanage and we had to we didn't have a computer lab, so we had to use the orphanages. Yeah. Orphanages. Mm-hmm. Um I thought it was my mom worked at that orphanage. They had us typing in like HTT, like the whole website name. You, you had to type in the whole. Oh website. yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no, no shortcut. You did not on. have to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a uh, piece yeah. of paper taped above the keyboard, so you couldn't look at you typing. Yeah. So, do you remember? Like you got in trouble. Right. But, but I still, I still peck. I still do. I don't do the the hand set up. I'm. It's my. I hate it about me. I. Uh, I peck. I have to look down at the keyboard and just do my two pointer fingers. I peck, I peck faster than like the common dude Quirties. You don't peck faster than a common man Quirty. Yeah, I think I do. I don't know. No way. There ain't no way. Quirty is proven. It's tried and true. I had to do a typing class when I was in fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. We like speed like, typing. Yeah, like you had to get to like a certain level of uh, words per minute. Dude, I like didn't make it past uh, eights. The eights tables and and uh, times tables speed tests. You remember speed tests? Yeah, yeah. I what? never made it past the eights. Dude, I got, I got, that was like the only thing I was ever good at. It was awful. It's 12 times 11 off know. the top. I don't know. 121? Why does Mincy have the cameras on? I don't on? know. No, is that 11 times 11? I don't know. That's not eight. I thought we were doing eights. 132. Well, the, the common one, it was, it was up to 12. 12 was the tough one. Nine is the easiest because they got the trick. Nine was easy. Nine is the, what's the trick you do for nine? It's like you put like your finger down. I don't. I never did the finger. I didn't. I did nine times. Oh, let's say nine times. I wasn't fucking around with anything. Oh, it's just I was. A I, I had a hack. If you were using fingers, that's. What is uh, it? Three times nine, twenty-seven. See, I, I did nine times seven. Okay, so what's one less than seven? Six. Three times nine, even twenty-seven. What plus six equals nine? Three, sixty-three. Oh, dude, I think if I went back to like eighth grade, I would fail all the classes. What time is it? I got to get out of here by six p.m. I have a doodling class. I'm what? going to a doodling class. I believe that, but what? I signed up. It was $25 through Eventbrite. I'm going to a doodling class at 6 p.m. It's going to be the worst people in the world. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> the, uh, pedophile heavy. I might be, but I'm going to take a doodling class at 6. I'm going to come in tomorrow. It'll be so fucking good. This is cool, but where are all the kids at? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the people no, who... No, no, no. <laughs> this is an adult doodling class. <laughs> it's going to be the people who overcorrect their pedophilia by being like vastly yeah. against it, or they <laughs> like, advocate yeah. like so hard against pedophilia where it's creepy. Like, they're, they're, no. They devote their life to like trying to stop <laughs> pedophilia. This is, well, uh, all right, yeah. This is an adult doodling <laughs> class. Doing, let, me do, they, let me do a deep dive on this pe- <laughs> su- suspected pedophile and see what he's up to. It's like that don't fuck with cats. I've never you, seen it. You guys see it? You joke, joke about it? Um, yes. That, yes. That shit is insane. Those The people going people, after him are always worse. People that went after him should be in prison. Really? Just like the yeah. creepiest the cre- people of yeah. all time. People love solving. Yeah. Well, then, And this guy was doing some fucked up things to the cats. I don't know. Yeah, but there was like five people saw it. And then they like went like all. It was like really weird. Mind you, this isn't a drawing class. Wait, is a what is this? Class. Where are you? Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Is that like going to a location? Studio? Yeah, I'm going to an art studio. To How'd you find it? It's taught by a friend's girlfriend. Resh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm in on it. She's a good person. You want to? You want to come tonight? I mean, I do. I I like to doodle. But you're is not it, very good. Is it begin? Like, are you going to turn the let the word dog into a dog? Um, that's pretty base level stuff. That'll probably be in the kids' doodling class. This is the adult, the one where you turn the word jumbo into an elephant. Okay. <laughs> right, let me know how it is. Roni, I'm, I'm what are you doing at 6 p.m. tonight? Nothing. The, wi- the wife's out. Really? Oh, yeah. She's and let's party. I'm going to an adult doodling class at 6 if you want to come. It's probably nude. N- doodling? It's not nudes. I've, uh, I've heard of these in New York. It. I've it's it's got to be a twist. Fifty-person yeah. gatherings, art house type of shit. I've seen it on TikTok, dude. And then there's a naked woman in the middle of it. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> you guys are trying to set me up. No, I'm going. See some titties. You ever see the video of like the sex class where like the lady was demonstrating how to ride and all the girls? All oh the yeah, that like, video was whoa. fucking nuts. Wow. No, what? <laughs> everyone like everyone gasped as if like she told them how to like. Solve a that video. Can we pull that up? 
He's oh, playing the guy, the guy demonstrator. The guy is just laying <laughs> flat on his black with no. I don't know what you would search. No, like facial black? expressions. He was back. black. Yeah. He was black though. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Still, they're one of the classes. That was black. what made it funnier. Yes. yes. But weren't they? Some of them were like riding pillows, or maybe they're all riding pillows. Yeah, they're all riding pillows. Yeah. But there's one main. Is it a riding class? Yeah. yeah. It was she a did riding the, she class. did the maneuver where you like switch from front to back without dismounting. I would be afraid of like dick. That that post sex pissed after that would look like your porn. Yeah. You can, like hey, vortex bottle. You can you can let up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> The fire hose. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, Whoa! Like, you tape two two liters together. And science, dude. The, the I, I did a deep dive on our Instagram, and it's like all that. Can we pull up some riding lessons. Uh, Where's uh, a more stimulating place for me to sit? We're adding riding lessons to the wheel. Um, well, Big Head and yeah. Brandon are gonna come in. They're gonna be here in fifteen. Uh, Kate is sick. Oh, I'll sit in Kate's seat then. And twisted. Bro, were you actually sick? Wait, what was the what was the crowd reaction like to seeing her? I, I, if I remember correctly, it was like, oh, or oh. <laughs> okay. They didn't know I'll you could do it. that. I don't. I'll, I'll find the video. Video. So she, she spins around without taking the dick out. She, yeah, but, but that, the guy. Everyone's like, dead. everyone's like, that's simple shit. That's algebra one. Yeah, the guy has like jeans on. They're so not actually, he's not. He's not actually like. She's not even showing. I, no. You want a penis? You want a penis to be present? Well, it's like it's easier said than done. Yeah, I think so. Oh, so even a dildo, banana, or glass fleshlight? Something needs to be in her pussy. <laughs> Is it Outcast that has a line about pulling the condom off with her pussy muscle? Did they? I think so. I know that uh, there's that one song where, like, I can g- Gasoline grip it, dreams? I can glide it, I can, or, uh, I can do all those little tricks and I can keep it inside it. I think that's what they're talking about, keeping the dick inside What does grip pussy? mean in modern slang? Like quirk? I think it means a pussy that like is so tight that it squeezes squeezes the penis. I don't know. I think. Am I wrong? Is, is that isn't that every pussy? I think that that's so tight that it squeezes the penis. I think oh. As it comes out, maybe it it like stays it hangs on like a. Have you seen that machine? comedian girl that everyone that's so bad that everyone's calling her like the grip reaper? <laughs> oh no, I don't know what she's talking about. I I don't know what that is. What's that mean? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Call her the Grip Reaper. The grip Reaper. Does she have a really tight pussy, or it's maybe nothing? A, to, her nothing to do with a pussy. I don't think. Really a loose pussy. Uh, I'll get in. I'll look. Was she a key grip? What does oh, that mean? Oh yeah. On a film set, maybe. I've always wanted to be a best boy on a film. Yeah, best boy. Sounds Just be there, hang around, show off my dimples. What does best boy do? Because I, I think boy. everyone's a boom operator, but I don't know what a best boy is. It would have to be. I don't know. I don't think you could do it. You're too. Uh, you're too much of a rascal. Best boy is just uh, there's no sarcasm to it. I feel oh. like best boy is a little bit of Wally Has Eddie Haskell type. Money burn himself. Yep. Ow, ow. He's caramelizing the onions right now, but as he fl- that's a lot of onions. How was the steak yesterday? I didn't get one. Why? I got one. Only three. Good. What? Only three people get it. Only three. It sucked. Only three people get Omaha steak. Achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged, tender, and delicious Omaha steaks. We all love their steaks, but their burgers and dogs are also, also terrific. Today, I think we're doing burgers. Mm. Omaha Steaks have put together a delicious uh, wait, selection sorry, of various... Sorry, Nick, we're gonna, we have to do this before the segment. There, The guys aren't back yet, so let's hold on the Omaha Reef. No, I was just talking. I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> not an ad. I was just talking. Just talking riff. That's a riff. That was we interrupted my riff, so I guess you give me the next topic to talk about, Jay. Sorry about that. I watched Smile last night. Was it horrific? Scary as fuck. Uh-oh. Yeah. I could tell your eyes are wide as hell right now. Bro, it was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen the trailer. Was it scary? Did you, did it was actually really scary. It, it has that eyebrowless spooked? girl in it, right? Uh, yeah, Goth? Goth? Her I name? I don't know that bitch. I don't know. But it was uh, it was way scarier than Barbarian by a mile. It's Barbarian. I don't know. I guess I should probably just save this for our podcast. Was it scarier than the menu? I don't. I haven't seen the menu. I haven't. I haven't seen a scary movie since It Follows, which is pretty good. It Follows pretty good. Very good. Actually, I never watched soundtrack. It. Yeah, solid soundtrack. I actually saw it before I knew it was like a popular to like. Yeah, because the premise is something that you'd click on, a sexually mm-hmm. transmitted demon. Yeah. Oh that's shit. What that's about actually it, it actually, follows. It, it spooked me. Yes. Everyone was saying that It Follows and Smile was like the same thing, but not sexual. Knowing not. Happy then. In the booth. 
I go straight to the Reddits. Uh, well, I, I want to get spooked. Reddit. I go to the real Reddit stories, like the the toy box killer. Yeah, that shit's awesome. The the, uh, the pictures, the thread morbid of like reality. The, the, I, morbid reality, uh, like the eeriest picture thread. I don't get spooked by eerie pictures. Uh, the subreddit last photos, the last photo of a person right before they die. That spooky. That spooks me for some. Oh, yeah, well, oh the one that I was talking about, the one where the guy just like no one knows what happened. He just went into his store. That was tr- yeah, that was a bar in Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Slavic broad in like the high heels who was about to get murdered, and the guy took a picture of her. That was spooky. Oh yeah, I don't like looking at like no, like, hated it, but it keeps you engaged. <laughs> what else? Yeah. Keeps you tight. Keep um, going, yeah, there was some like w- pussy grip. Some like Nazi <laughs> guy who like it was two. It was before and after before he realized the the painter at his party was. Jewish, and it was this one it actually was the spooky. Piano play. It was the look or of something hate. like that. Yes. The look of hate. It, that was a very spooky. It was a Nazi general that found out the photographer was Jewish, right? So isn't that like, what happens in uh, the that one, the movie with uh, what's it called? Adrian Brody. Isn't there? There's, isn't there a super similar plot? Or I guess it's obviously a real story. What is that movie with Adam Driver, where he plays like the marriage Madison? story detective Nazi? His wife founds out her husband's Jewish <laughs> and gets furious, <laughs> wants to divorce him immediately. That happens. Something like that happens. Oh, he finds out the photographer Black, is a Jewish. Uh, Black Klansman? Yeah, Black Klansman. I haven't seen that. It's not great. Really? I was kind yeah. of bored, yeah. It's pretty bad. I've been bored with bad, uh, popular movies. Uh, I brought up that movie Patterson that Adam Driver's in. He's just a poet and a mailman, but he wants to be like a full-time poet. Suck. That's not a job. Yeah. Sounds like Charles Bukowski. That's not a job. A full-time poet? Yeah, FTP. I don't think you could be a FTP. Probably not now. When was it? You'd have to. Uh, Who's what about, what about Milk it? and Honey? Damn. Oh, he burned his hand he, again. He's burning up over there. Fuck, he's putting on these nice red peppers, though. Milk and Honey. <laughs> she had a sequel, too, didn't she? What's Milk and Honey? That's that Rupi Cower poet. She's a... Uh, just like it was like a real like, like a little doodle shit. doodles were not good oh like RM Drake shit we'll not be using those it's just like yeah it, it was like that anti our anti creativity movement yeah I don't fuck with that that's basically what AI is anti creativity it's pretty good have what, you guys been AI? on the new AI thing the one where it writes for you yeah yeah we did on holy shit. I'm seeing massive flames in that <laughs> guy's that was, eyeballs. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Donnie's smile. <laughs> yeah, I, I did, did I see? Yeah, I saw a flame. Uh, like, you, you saw a like fireball. A, <laughs> I, saw, yeah, I, don't, I saw a li- I saw a fireball. Yes, it was I like a two just, foot flame. I saw a fireball. Yeah, security's Holy chilling shit. though. Holy shit, uh, Donnie. <laughs> the fuck are you guys doing? This is our new seats. Uh, Kyle looks too red in that seat. I look too pasty in that one. Got him his hue there. And I am a nice rosy pink over here rather than a translucent white. I think that oh, we geez. should re rank the seat. We should rank the seats, and every week the the fans should uh, rank us. We sit in our seats like it's a podium. Well, I yeah, like that, that. Sounds like a good. That'll idea. be good for morale. Yeah. What do you think the number good. one seat is? I guess the middle number one one. Ones two. Sound good, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Yeah, it's not great. Everyone's everyone's down with it. Um, I'm coming out of it, thankfully. Were you sick on Sunday? Mm, yeah, Sunday I was. We hung out on Saturday night, and then I woke up the next morning feeling terrible. But I felt fine when we hung out. That's what a night with sass will do to you. Yeah. Serious. Seriously, sass is such a fucking <laughs> demon in the streets of New York. Sorry for being late. We were finishing pro football football show. Sorry, Brandon. Fine. Fine yeah. with me. You're wrong. Leech. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it stinks. Sorry, that's tough. What a year. Yep. It's a good guy. Hell of a guy. Hell of a coach. Hell of a guy. Also, all-time yak moment. All in. Yeah, can we play that? Oh, I, I retweeted it. it. God damn it. We should did. definitely play that. I retweeted it. You can find it on my Twitter. All-time yak moment. Yeah, classic. So what was shit. that? What was that one? I remember the Kiffin it moment. Was, it was the, we were doing Friday Vibes, and you had been, up until the point of uh, the Friday Vibes, Brandon had been like, let me have Mike Leach's phone number. Let me have Mike Leach's oh, phone that's number. Right, I'm yeah. going down to Mississippi. Let me have Mike Leach's phone number. I was like, nope, nope. Just, you know. Guy stuff, yeah. totally. And uh, I got him to uh, to call in. We'll play the call. It was it was such a great moment. Your face, also like you, your transformation, sh- like body face is just insane. Every time I see a video from like two years ago, it's good though, right? Yeah, no, you yeah. look better. It's great. I think we all look. Look at better. him. Look how young he looks. Another call. Then we'll go to 
and then Roan will do it. Uh, let's go to Mike in Starkville. What? Coach, what's up? <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? We're doing great. We're feeling the vibe. <laughs> what? It's feeling great. How's everything with you? Well, it's going pretty good. I mean, it's uh, despite the fact we're not allowed to do anything, it's been pretty busy anyway. I mean, um, uh, yeah. I mean, they've uh, carved out a bunch of rules on what we can't do, but nevertheless, we're um, <clears throat> on the phones and having meetings all the time, and then you're to checking on the welfare of your players too. And then, yep, yep. Uh, yep. everybody's excited to get rolling when that day comes. You Love know? it. Love it. We we got uh my my guy Brandon Walker uh, who is the biggest Mississippi State fan who I think you're you're planning on meeting sometime in July. He's here with me right now. Hey coach. Hey coach. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Doing good. How you like Starkville so far? Oh, it's great. Uh, I'll tell you, it reminds me. Well, it reminds me a lot of uh, a yep. lot of the favorite towns that I've been in. Reminds me of Valdosta in Georgia. Reminds me of Coleman, Washington. Um, you know, it's got the old college spirit and vibe about it, which is always important. But then also um, outstanding restaurants. Yeah, outstanding. Uh, mm-hmm. That's true. I really, I really good. Actually, great restaurants. Places. <laughs> All three of those places had great restaurants. I maybe have to give up the, over, the overall nod to Starkville. I mean, um, you can't even you can't even get into like if you ask somebody in Starkville uh, what the best barbecue is, you better not be in a hurry because they're going to engage <laughs> in a uh, that in the end it's going to be unresolved. You know? I know. I like Spotlight myself out there on Martin Luther King. Spotlight's the best. Little Dewey's good too, but then Petty's on Highway 12 is terrific too. Only yeah, Pet, I, I really like Petty's. I've been to Dewey's, been to Petty's. That Petty's was outstanding spotlight I need to do. That's the holy Petty's grail closed. right now, spotlight. I love it. I love it. So, Coach, you, uh, Brandon's going to – when are you going back down to start? I think that's it. I'm going in July. I'm going it's great. July, legendary July. guy. Yeah. yeah. You guys both look really young in that. Really young. Jeez. It's, it's weird looking back at old clips. Like I know. I also had a Mike Leach story where uh, – in the old office, it was just two studios. One was podcast studio, one was radio studio, and like the main board was all the same. And we were supposed to interview Mike Leach, and a random caller, like, just got through to our side, huh. and he just pretended to be Mike Leach. We interviewed him for like ten minutes, and then like me and PFT the whole time, were like, I don't think this is Mike Leach. I don't think- <laughs> and then we like asked him a specific question, and he's like, I'm not Mike Leach, guys. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And yeah, he's the best. He he really was. Yeah, he was. Sorry, awesome. Brandon. And in uh, Mincy's last day. Oh my God! It's just tragedy on tragedy. It's uh, it's been a rough day. Mincy's starting his vacation December thirteenth. December thirteenth. There's only twelve days to Christmas, so he has to get a get a running start at it. That's Absolutely. longer than like the college kids get. Yeah. No, Con Ka- <laughs> said that he was like Mincy just is uh, is on a college yeah. uh, calendar. He also asked, I think, uh, one of the rundown editors. Well, he invited. PFT to his final rundown, mm-hmm. um, and you then mean like to sit in on it? No, to be on it. He was like a very big honor, and then he asked, I think Zoopy to create a Mincy highlight package. Best of Mince. He asked for a best of Mince. Yeah, he asked for a best of Mince. So, so the rundown today will be four and a half hours. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and he's uh, dressed up, walking around, just talking to people about his last day. He told me that it's really not a last day because he'll be back in late uh, January. Oh, okay. Um, uh, he, so he was planning on never coming back. Yeah. Yeah, I figured, I mean, it's he's he's not leaving Barstool. What is he doing? He's boots on the ground, brother. Moving to New Orleans. We're about to pop off in Louisiana. Yeah. Barbecue Vincey reviews. Concert <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Sportsbook reviews. Game, game game reviews that he he goes to games. Oh, yeah. Always going to block so many people in the aisle. Um, right. Someone else was telling me that they someone did, like tweeted, like, uh, <laughs> Mincy, they pulled up Mincy's last, like, 15 blogs, and every single one of them was like, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Man. He's one, of, I mean, he's one I, in a billion. He is. He's really kind of dressed is. like he like a Jerry Springer contestant today. Yeah, yeah. yeah he looks like he did, doesn't pay his child support. He's losing custody today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Poor bastard. Oh, man, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, uh, I am. I am all but dead. I took a hard fall from Barstool Grace. 
I showed off track speed. <laughs> I did not have a Call great me. Saturday, put it mildly. Oh, man. I owe me. <laughs> He's it's gonna be a oh, did he blog Saturday. about his extension? He did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Think there's financials in there? Yeah. He told the 100%. whole world about it. Probably his just extension. posted the contract. Wait, I like the thumbnail of that one, though. That was that's good. Yeah. Mincy. Oh, three pictures for three years. Oh, yeah. Got it. Symbolism. There really isn't anyone like him. No. I don't want him to go. I don't either. It's right twice. I, you know, it's one of those things that, like, if you love something, let it go. Maybe we'll and all. Maybe he'll to, come back once, once every like six months. Or maybe we'll all relocate to New Orleans and kind of have all him be the hub of the wheel. Do you think he'll get to a point where Dave's like, come, you have to come back to New York? Um, no. I mean, Mincy's kind of. He's just. He's made. He's just part of barstool. Yeah. He's like a a barnacle on a whale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's a made man like uh, the MTV show Made. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, he wants to become a sports uh, gambling content creator. Yeah. It's just like, he's, you know, he's there. What are you going to do? It's Mincy. <laughs> What's your favorite Mincy memory, Che? Ooh. Um, lots of juice from Tiana's. Tons. Uh, probably the two that stand out are... Uh, the college world series uh that video all time run yep was it the like no hitter lighters kit or something like that yeah uh hits a home run after he's talking about what a what a pitching duel it is that was a good one and then the one somewhat recently where he was late and running oh from yeah the path oh holding yeah, his yeah, pants yeah. Up. we joke but i would love to watch a best of a i do too yeah, yeah. hour long well, we should we should definitely have him do a uh one last fast banana right we'll Ooh. have to have that Wet banana Go. was really good too. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> let's get him in, after the rundown. Let's get him in for a fast banana. Finish it, Ben. See if he can break his record. <laughs> oh my God! Look at the shade of the man. I knew that visual. God damn. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I am too. We all are. We all. I think we speak for everyone in this room right now when I say we're sad. You're allowed to. Yeah, I accept that. Brandon? 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 A sad day. Respect the king of the south. A sad day. Mike Leach was a uh, hell of a coach. Yeah. He was my guy. Do you think, like, outside of, like, war and criminal activities, like, col uh, college football head coach is the most high-pressure job in America? Oh. Uh, it's hard to measure, but... Maybe like it's up there. Baby heart surgeon? Yeah, what about baby heart surgeon? You didn't Even think about that, like they know, surgery. like they go in there with How do you, full. Co they know they're gonna get it done. But they have no sometimes doubts. Sometimes they don't. I also don't think there's, there's a lot. They lot have no doubts their in their mind. You, one of the. I'll just admit, the baby you, you forgot baby heart surgery. I forgot baby heart. Would you rather lose a football <laughs> Dude, game? If you're, or if you're a baby, baby and already <laughs> dealing with that shit, just give up. <laughs> <laughs> you're a baby getting heart surgery. It's a long road. Yeah, it is. Dog. Your cholesterol. I forgot about baby heart. No, but no, he's no. you always <laughs> you always forget about baby heart surgeon when you talk about toughest job. But yeah. but if a baby heart surgeon fucks up, only like maybe ten people find out about it. If a college coach right. fucks True. up, I there's can't, hundreds I can't tell of you one baby heart surgeon who's fucked up. I also don't think there's a lot of competition for baby heart surgery. Like, I don't know how many surgeons are lining up for that. There can't so, be too many. So even if you mess up, you're like, okay, well, I'm still the only baby heart surgeon. The next baby's still coming to me. You can't fire me? Yeah, just move on to the next baby. Too big to fail. I think it, I think it worse would be like a, a toddler heart surgeon. Oh. They have a personality. Famous like toddler heart yeah. surgeon. Famous, famous toddler toddlers. heart surgeon. Yeah. How many famous toddlers need heart surgery? Have there ever been any? Lot. There's two, yeah. Pressure. Stressed yeah, out. You ever seen yeah. the Shriners commercials? Pretty sure Greg Olson's son got one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but Greg Olson's famous. He's the uh, Jimmy Kimmel's son as well? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of... Famous toddlers. I'm the baby surgeon of the stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do Steak Wheel? I think we should. So Omaha Steaks, sponsoring the whole week. You guys missed a fireball from Chef Donnie. Oh shit! What it smells so good? I haven't Legitimate had a fireball. Oh, it was, it was a, not into the good set. It was a it was a fire. It was almost oh, out of control. Man. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, go to Omaha Steaks right now. Omaha Steaks achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged, tender, and delicious Omaha Steaks. 
I love their steaks. Their burgers and dogs are also terrific. Omaha Steaks have put together a delicious selection of various gift packages to make shopping for the ones you love nice and easy. Go to omahasteaks.com and take advantage of 50% off site-wide. Plus, use code YAK at checkout to get an additional $40 off your order. Omaha Steaks, a gift from the heart, a gift that will be remembered with every unforgettable bite. Order with complete confidence today, knowing you're ordering the very best. Visit omahasteaks.com. Take advantage of 50% off site-wide, plus use promo code YAK at checkout to get an extra fifty uh, $40 off your order. Minimum order may be required. We're giving you free $40. omahasteaks.com. Please do it. Support us. Support a sponsor. omahasteaks.com. Use code YAK. We're going to do uh, Oregon Trail on Thursday, and we're going to have to eat whatever we kill and the food today and i think the rest of the week uh chef donnie's getting creative with so uh, i, I just i just so i just watched him pour something so like i was on these whatever those was are you? i was you yes so, bless you all right this is a big wheel does everyone want one i want one I, I got one last week. But I got one yesterday. You don't feel good. I don't want one, but I want to stay on the wheel because I want to prevent someone else from getting one. Yeah, that would be fair. awesome. That's why you were there yesterday. You were playing I was defense. on it. You would yes. have to eat a cold steak today, though. I fuck with a cold steak. All right. Steak's White people bad. shit. Let's do it. Please me, 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 please me. fuck. God damn it. All right, Jay. Jay, you going to break your, you're going to eat the, the yeah, bun? Yeah, got to. You gotta eat the bun. For anything show related, I can do. There's never been, by the way, just just as an aside, there's never been a worse deal in the world than Stephen Shea doing the TB12 method for a year for this shit ass Bucks team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or a guy who got a divorce. No. Like God. no. Like really you do bad. this, you put yourself through torture to watch a terrible football team. I was fed legitimately bad intel. <laughs> what do you mean about fact. what? I, I, I was before I made that <laughs> offer. I checked like, hey, this is not happening, right? And they're like, yeah, it's fucking done. Well, I was told on like very good What's sources. He talking about? What? What? Intel oh, that he retired. Yes, like his not intel told back. him that the Bucks would be good. Yeah. Uh, no, Adam. my intel told me. I like, forgot he's Brady not retired. Back. Yeah, he did retire for like thirty days. Yeah. What? Uh, who is your source? I would never give that. Is, up. Are they in the Bucks though, or are? Oh, I know it. You don't. Yeah, I do. You think you do? Oh, I know the other guy too. Mm, you don't. The first guy gave me the other guy. <laughs> you want me to say it? No, I don't. Okay. Huh. Well, I know it's not, it. It's not you giving it. both guys? Oh, I got both guys. If you have both guys, that's disturbing. No problem. Got both guys. <laughs> didn't even sound like a like a like trouble to him to get both guys. I have both no. guys' numbers. All right. <laughs> Go eat your steak, bitch. <laughs> I got both guys. For sure. I don't have the second guy. Okay. Look what he's doing to that sandwich. Just no. I don't have the second guy, but he'll never know that I don't have the second guy. Just he'll end up, so he'll end up telling you. Yeah. Let's, let's oh, go. he will. I'll be like, three, two, one, say the name. Okay, cool. What's, what's going on with this hoodie? It's got a little extra. Yeah, the lo- little fat neck. Oh, yeah. Front fabric. All right. Just kind of zip it. Turn it backwards. Spin it again. Fuck. I really want a steak so bad. I'm going to have to make Ooh. steak for dinner if I don't get this. Double burger, damn. Yes. TJ. <laughs> oh, so everybody stays on to yeah. get double? Uh, Who the hell we do it here. I'm going to make a steak fucking... tonight. I'm going to have no choice but to make a steak tonight with Omaha Steaks. I will after my class. Huh? I have an adult doodling class. Six o'clock today. What? Yeah. Want to come? Did you doodle well already? <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to Are you Are you tomorrow. teaching it? No. I'm in it. It's a nude painting class. No, it's not. It's adult. Are you gonna it's adult doodling? Why do you dude. have to learn how to doodle? I know how to doodle. This is adult adult doodling. Well, it's a doodle learn. meeting. It's not a class. No, I'll learn how to doodle but you're, better. You're a better doodler than everyone in that class. No chance. Absolute chance. And why are they in the class if there are better doodlers than you? Who's hey, you, the great doodler? Te- the teacher is an excellent doodler. Right, but you're better than them. No way. Okay. So a Did bunch we'll, of great doodlers are getting together to learn how to doodle. Doodle, different tactics and techniques. So it's networking or you're Strategies. learning? Is there, is, is there a professor or is it more There's of a professor? A, There's adding teachers. Teachers. Any technique takes away from just the freedom of doodling, doesn't it? I think doodling's an art form. I think you're you are almost slandering it right now. This is like when I, uh, I I signed up for an improv class in like, I don't know, 2014 because I was like, I just want to, you know, get, get my comedy chops up. And I showed up and it was like a bunch of 22-year-olds. 
And when we had a break in the first hour, I just was like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I never came back. Yeah. I'm just going home and blog. Oh, doodling. Oh, he seems to yeah, enjoy it. Was, it. Was oh, bad, it was so bad. Dude. Improv is to act. paid like 500 bucks for art, it, I'd imagine. And I was just like, I'm going to go blog. This, is, this isn't this is for me. You just called it an art form. What is? Doodling. Doodling's an art form. Hmm. I just don't it's improv art. Just don't think I don't know where that nib is going to go. Just don't think you need to learn how to doodle. That's all. We'll see you tomorrow. Spin it again. It's going to break my heart. I'm trying to have friends come with me. Fuck! Oh. Double burger, Double Jay. burger. <laughs> you got to eat two burgers, Jay. There's a you burger for each source that Big Cat knows. You have to eat both. I don't think I can eat that much. I already you have, have my to. real one. You got to eat both. You Why have to you have eat your real both. Lunch? Unless you want Omaha you burgers to pull. No, you have to eat yeah, both. I think you have to. But I don't want to eat both. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, I think you have okay. to. Okay. I don't want to get wet. You gotta. <laughs> Big ass hood. Damn, I just want to see it, though. I want to see it up. How do they Didn't all... even get any in here to smell it. That hood is nuts. Steven, come sit. It's not even a hood. Front hood? <laughs> it's, I think it's just, he just has it on backwards. What the hell is that? <laughs> this hoodie's uncircumcised. My oh, it's not, a turtleneck. My hoodie's not backwards. <laughs> it's a front hood. <laughs> what the Steven, fuck is that? Come sit right here and eat both. It's, is that a mock neck? No, it has strings. Sit hey, right what's going on both. with this with this what's hoodie? The, what's your garment? <laughs> had a bit of a neck. <laughs> put, put it on. Well, how'd that work? Well, like to KO spikes. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, oh, sh it's a shame none of us get it, but thank you, Chef Donnie. Yeah. That was a big yeah. old fireball you had. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie, are you going to be ready for Thursday? Because we're doing, we're, we're, we have to eat what we kill. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it's like going to be, you got to go steak, 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 like a lot of steaks. All right, yeah. I'm in. I'll get ready. Eight burgers, too. Hot dogs, everything. Okay, let's see this hood. Who else had a big neck? Paul Puzlesny? Pu Pu yeah, he had a, he had a wide neck. Paul Puzlesny? He had a wide had a big neck. Neck. Spikes is the Spikes Paul Puzlesny had, had a huge neck. Yeah. Just you called it a hoodie. <laughs> oh, what type why, of why would you need that? Bro, that the foreskin on him. <laughs> what you I don't know. is? Is that for robbing an old navy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Gap, maybe. Um, There's no way Gap I makes. Thought, I thought, I thought how do you wear it up? I just wear it like this. How do you, if you were to put it on? How would you? This is. Well, but what's what's? Draw the strings. Yeah, draw the strings. What's it doing? <laughs> Peeking out a bird bag. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like it. I get compliments on this. Come on. It's like an astronaut helmet should lock into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Flame him. Roast his I ass. turn off Steven's mic. Is that a gift? Can you show us that burger, uh, like, outwards to the camera? I just want to see how it's... I don't like that he gets two. I hate it. I don't either. You got to finish both of them. You God, it oh, looks God delicious. Damn, looks good. It's it so really good. good. Tony's a fucking really good. great <laughs> chef. Damn it, that looks really good. The bread looks good too. Everything looks good. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Did you just order big, yeah? Steak? steak. <laughs> just a, a big steak for yourself? You could probably order Peter Luger to here. With its yeah. two Michelin stars. I think it lost a Michelin lost star. Lost it's only a Oh, that was, it only had one? Do you guys see Sam Bankman Freed? Went to jail. Yeah, yeah, he got uh, ex ex. He he'll probably hold up well extradited. in jail. Extradited. Yeah. Seems like someone will hold up well in jail. He'll be fine. Oh, he's the dude from FTX. Yeah, he is quite like. Outside of the crimes he did, it's gotta suck for him because like I didn't know who he was, and he is an ugly dude. And have you heard his voice? Oh, it's terrible. He's textbook dork. He's the biggest dork ever. So now it's like the world just found out you're a huge dork. Yeah. Dude, it's I, way worse than going to jail. Not to play devil's advocate for him, but I kind of, like, he didn't expect it all to come crumbling down. Oh, I think he did. I don't think he did it maliciously knowing one day that, like, he was robbing Peter to pay Paul. I thought that he, I think he just thought that crypto would go up forever and people would use him as, like, a crypto buying. That's illegal. That's like saying Bernie Madoff was just, like, hoping that. Well, Bernie Madoff was just... robbing, like, it was, it was, like, one guy to the next guy. That's what he did. I thought it was just like there was a massive fund and people tried to withdraw from the fund and there was not enough liquidity to like. He had another fund it. though that was paying his FTX Got was it. paying Alameda or whatever, which he controlled. He was just putting 
he was both Peter and Paul. Yeah. He was both Peter and Paul. Yeah. Got it. I understand. But he is a dork. I don't know. I kind of want to find a way to be on his side. It must have been sweet for these last, it must have been bittersweet these last days in the Bahamas, just like chilling oh, yeah. on the beach in his billionaire mansion. Just being like, I'm not getting arrested. Do, do dorks have fun at the beach? No. I don't think so. No way. If they, if uh, yeah, he doesn't take his shirt off at the no, beach. They have their own the beach, beach with probably. socks on. But dorks still don't have fun. He brings his beach. backpack to the yeah. beach. They're probably terrified of other people on the beach, but if they have on their own beach, I think they do. What's a dork on the Pull beach? Pull up a picture of him on he the beach. He probably walks around with uh, like flippers on. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> he was having a good time. He's not a dork, though. Zuck? He, no, he's the man. He's not a dork. No. No. He does Krav Maga and he's shit. A, he's a fucking alpha. He is. He did six months of jujitsu, and now he's talking like he's fucking Joe Rogan. Yeah, let me see Sam Sam Bankman freed on a beach. He definitely, yeah, he, no chance. Look at this guy. Get a haircut, dude. That's the other thing. Why wouldn't you get a haircut before everyone? Looks like a combination of the six of us. Yeah. Like, that's a waste of. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dork. He's actually not as dorky looking as I expected him to be. Oh, yes, he is. No, I know he walks on his. Look dick. at him. He definitely Look at his works. hands. That guy works at Barstool. Yeah, hundred percent. It's Meek Phil. It yeah. might be. Kind of is. And Meek Phil kind of looks like me. Uh oh. Mm. No. Oh, yeah. People thought that was me uh, in the video where he kicked Frank's chair. Oh. Yeah. Frank did. Nope. Oh. Uh, uh Stu Store Finer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Stu's not exactly an attention to details guy. Stuart? Stuart thought that? Stuart? Stuart thought that. <laughs> Stuart's a big I, picture I didn't, guy. I, didn't want to be cl- I didn't want you to confuse him with any other Stu's. <laughs> Stu <laughs> Pickles. <laughs> Boy Jay. maker. Che, maybe a little bit more pace on that sandwich? Seems like you're a lolly guy. We do have a Stu upstairs who's like a genius. Yeah. He runs like a lot of stuff, and it's very funny whenever someone's like, Stu, and I immediately think finer, and then they're like, Stu did this. I'm like, oh. Okay, that makes sense. Stu changed the code on the rough and rowdy. Yeah, he's like, huh? I thought all he could do was eat clit and ass. <laughs> yeah, he can code. He can program. <laughs> the fuck? Clit and ass just takes precedence. I just uh, uh, fifteen minutes of of ass eating. Just I, I just am desperate to see the, all the ways that he changes it up the whole time. Yeah. Without ever going back to the clit. That's got to be a lot. Like that's got to be a, in your head. The the shot clock. I feel like you have to. Like you go out, you kiss cheek, kiss cheek, go. There has to be some sort of <laughs> yeah, Steven, do like you a ever, genuflect. Uh, you ever think you about take intermissions to make out with each butt cheek? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no. If I had to guess, how the good ones do it? How the greats? Yeah. yeah. Steven, do you ever visualize Stu eating his wife's ass? No. Take a bite. <laughs> and then while you're chewing, <laughs> think about it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're Stu, thinking about keep it? eating my ass. That's what she would say. <laughs> I don't know what Stu. I don't know what Stu's family looks like. He posts them all the time. <laughs> he brings them to the office constantly. His son, I've met. I think I've met before. Oh, so you know what Stu looks like. So that's got that's half the equation. He's fine looking dude. Oh, there's the other Stu. Height impaired. Yeah, there's the other Stu. Really, we rarely see him. Mm-hmm. It was in Nashville. Oh, wow. Damn, what? Height impaired. So it's in Nashville. Stu? Yeah. He lives in Nashville. How does everybody Tennessee. get to live in the South? What do you mean he lives in Oh, Nashville? Tennessee. I mean, that. what do you not understand about that? Well, he's here all the time. He comes here once a month. We just happen to see him? Today's the no day he's way. here? Yeah. And we just brought him up for the first time ever? Yeah, he's a good dude. I know him. <laughs> oh, you I'm know him? how that's cool. You're a co-worker? I used to work with him pretty closely. Oh, somewhat closely. Probably hates you. No, we have a great relationship. I'd like to see her the other side of that. Yeah. All right. Down the hatch. Come on. We have another burger left. Growing boy. Keep eating. How did, how's, how do you like that bun? It's a good bun, right? Is it brioche? Think? I think it's ciabatta. Ah. Mm. You thought it ah. that was brioche. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, not at all, my friend. Brandon. Hey. I want to play the video you sent. No. All right. That was just for you guys. Ah, please. That was just for you guys. It's so funny. Can we talk about it? Wait, I, I didn't watch it. How? How? Why not? You're selfish. <laughs> I, no, you are. I, yeah, I've been the, uh, you know, 
on and Ben sent a video to message. the group chat last night. I got. I do want to watch it now. Just watch it. Watch it now. Twenty seconds. Turn the volume up so we can all hear it. No, I. I, I let's keep this one to ourselves. All right, no, 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 this I'm one's gonna harmless. Walk. I'm gonna watch. No, no, no. I, I agree. with the Context that. is just we won't say anything else. Tommy had a question. Yeah, he had a question about the birds. It was a coming of age question. He had a question about a. Specific number. Yeah, a position, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stephen Che Stephen responded. Stephen made it perverted. Yeah, he, he made responded it in the, the, the chat, 69 is an awesome position. 69 is underrated. Oh, we're just saying it. <laughs> just didn't even oh, acknowledge the We didn't say anything. We, didn't say anything. We, didn't we ignored say anything. it. Yeah, yeah. Stephen Che just, from the cloud, 69 is an awesome position. Maybe you want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty harmless video, yeah, but I uh, just just some things I got to keep in the house. Yeah, and it's, I get uh, it. I get it. You want to preserve your child. The best part about the video was when you were like, "Where did you hear that?" And he's like, "From you." Yeah, <laughs> I heard it from you, Dad. That's his default answer because yeah. I never would have said that in front like of that him. old like drug commercial. Right, yeah. Yeah. I learned from you. He's such a cogent speaker. He was like, "Yeah, I I hear it pretty often on YouTube. Or I see it pretty often, <laughs> and it's Early. always in a, in a joking manner." Yeah, yeah. yeah he was. Yeah. Stephen's like, "That's Don't Jay joke about up. that." He's Don't crazy cogent. So oh. fucking underrated. So cogent. Cogent. So yeah, really. Cogent. I would say sixty nine ing is probably the most talked about sex position. Yeah, and I would say it's overrated. It can't be underrated. Yeah, how much? I would say it's about. overrated as well. Yeah, it's very it's, overrated. It's for our reverse cowgirl, underrated. Yeah. No, no one's ever talking about that. Oh. Nobody talks about In 07, we talked about nobody, it. Nobody talks about reverse cowboy. Yeah, true. We, were, <laughs> we walked in on KB doing it. You did, but we were just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't bat an eye. Um, <laughs> who did it? You or him? Me. I batted eyes. You batted an eye. At him. Yeah. We were, to we were talking about the clip of the, the, the teacher. Oh, yeah, it's earlier. Dude, finish the bun, Steven. You're leaving massive pieces of bun uneaten. One. So I'd like to see that. Oh, yeah, can we pull up the uh, the riding lessons? I don't know how to search that. It was a. I looked it up. I found it, but it wasn't the clip I was looking for. Is it like Libs of TikTok posted it? <laughs> they might have. No, it's more like no, uh, it was a celebratory account. I think that people were in awe. These women are taking riding lessons from some, like, savant whore. Oh, huh. this woman who just knows how to ride, and they're just like ooing and aahing, cooing around this woman as she like gives the secrets of keeping the dick inside the pussy. <laughs> There's also not one person in the class who's under the age of 55, I would say, or under the weight of 210. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, then it's an important lesson, of course. Yeah, it's very important. I think that whatever is happening in that class is extremely important, probably fruitful. Hmm. Fruit for thought. We have it. It really is. I looked up riding lessons on TikTok. It's all just little kids riding horses. There's no nudity, yeah. right? Yeah. For YouTube. What? There's no nudity in the clip, right? No. 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 Keep it just watch you. I can, I can uh, stop talking more eating. You have a lot of burger left, Jay. Also, turn off Jay's mic, please. You can hear. You can hear his lips smacking. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe raise your hoodie to muffle the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's for? Yeah, it's, it's for really loud chewers. Oh. Was that an online purchase? Do you see it on the rack? What are you doing with that bun? He's hiding it. He finished the bun. All right. I want a clean plate. Brandon, why don't you do the other ad? Okay. Which, which one is it? Ridge. Do we do Ridge? Do Ridge. Oh, it's the first one. Okay. Ridge Wallet is an ultra-slim, minimalist wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. I see these Ridge Wallets all, all around Barstool. They're very uh, stylish-looking. They're sleek. They're small. And you just got room for all your cards and everything. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It's also made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers. They also have a new key case to help organize your keys. It secures anywhere from two to six keys. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and fold out for easy access. There are six colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Uh, if you go to ridge.com right now, these wallets are incredible looking, and they've got, I don't know, they got they got a bunch of styles. I guess it said 30 styles, but they're all good-looking wallets. They're, they're the crazy. key case is nice, too. Nick always has his out, and he's just yeah. swinging it around. It's, I, I fidget with it often. I think it's the, the reason that he's so likable. I That's think that it, it comes down Ridge to wallet Ridge case. Wallet key case is what, is what is Nick's secret sauce. Yeah, were you likable before you got that? No. Oh. 
He was detestable before he got that. Get the best offer at ridge.com slash yak and save up to 40% through December 22nd. Again, that's ridge.com slash yak and save up to 40% through December 22nd. Do you guys call women bitches? I do a lot. Uh, it depends on how they're acting. Mm-hmm. Are they acting like women? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> how about just colloquially like that bitch? Ah, uh, nah. The bitch over there? Yeah, yeah I would, yeah. <laughs> you do? I asked Pete if he yeah, had bitches I think in the room so. I found a wallet in the subway the other day, picked it up. I was like, wait, wait, what do I do? I just left it there. I hero. Hey, what do I do? do? <laughs> yeah, who do you take yeah, it what to? What do you do? Otherwise, yeah, it's a ton what? of thankless legwork unless you just leave yeah, it there. Or you could clean them out. What am I to do? Yeah, and if they go back to where they left it and it's not there. Right. But it's just like you. It's it depends on how much you trust the rest of the world. Like, do you trust everyone else to just leave it there in Japan? They probably would just like it would be there three days later. Yeah. But, you know, do you think that you're more trustworthy than everybody else? Are you the keeper of the wallet? Nah, I didn't care. Because maybe you There's get no twenty dollars. Like, what's the? Yeah, <laughs> oh, you checked. Yeah. <laughs> if there was five hundred bucks, would you have cared? My weird ass went to the Duke game the other day. The fuck? What? Yeah, Duke, Iowa. MSG. By yourself? The old lady took me. Oh. <laughs> it was actually fly. It was uh it was fun. I loved watching. I got we had good seats. Um I like a good basketball game. Yeah. It wasn't even a good game, but I it really enjoyed watching. The Duke fans were uh, predictably obnoxious. Did you go to in, a, in such a dorky way too, mm-hmm. like throwing out stats. Did they go to Duke, your old lady? No. She's fucking around with one of the players, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why else would you go? <laughs> he, he, got, he didn't get any playing time. Like, He's not going to get in, right? Why, you why, know what one yeah. it was? Why are you wearing a big pin with a player's face yeah. on it? Yeah, that doesn't make yeah. sense. She also sent you a picture That's courtside at, at an Atlanta Hawks game, right? Oh, man. That's oh, no. you were yeah. Yeah. Your girl should never be in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of cities I, you don't want your girl to be in. Atlanta is number one. <laughs> Over Miami? She starts taking like Miami. Miami's, exactly. Miami's pretty there. tough. There's one, there's one rocket launcher, and it's in Atlanta. And if your girl posts the mirror pic with the rocket launcher, she's at that rapper's house. It's a wrap. What do you mean? <laughs> there is a, a, a rocket launcher going around where it's somewhere in Atlanta. You got to know like a, some producer or rapper to get Lil a Nar? house party. It's a lower level. But yeah, Lil Nar used to have a rocket yeah, launcher. Had a ro- oh, maybe they're going around. <laughs> is he still around? Uh, I think he's just doing narcotic, the clothing line. Yeah. There's one rocket launcher in all of Atlanta. I'm sure there's more, but there's, there's one, one famous. There's one, and if your girl's yeah. posing with it, yeah. it's, it's over. It's a wrap. You getting the pipe? It's a wrap. You getting it's the WMD? It's on Facebook Marketplace. That's, That's straight up bazooka. Did you enjoy the game? Yes. Yeah. That's a guided missile. Yes, I like basketball. Did you Do go you? to the Texas Illinois game right before the winter overtime, or I was I arrived as it was ending. Um, that's kind of that's dope. that, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll see another one soon. Oh, Chris Beard is a free man. Chris Beard's a bad dude. Oh yeah, yeah. That got rough. What happened? He got arrested. Strangled his wife. Yeah. His fiance, yeah. His fiance. He just what did she do? Ter- she broke oh, his glasses. Fuck. Yeah. Oh her. yeah, he snaps her gla- his glasses. <laughs> I think college football coach is <laughs> the most Velma. high pressure. <laughs> it's very high pressure. You can throw out things like firefighter, um, but I think something about just having to stand on the sidelines and not being able to like get a true adrenaline rush it makes it way it's more. Not just that they they don't sleep. They 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 they're constantly it would be, working. They work till imagine, two a.m. every night. Yeah, like, so, it's, like, being like someone like Neil Brown. Um, Everybody's calling for his head. West Virginia he's in a coach. small town. Like he can't enjoy life. Even Nick Saban, like if you're the best, they're still calling for your head. I don't think Kirby Smart enjoys his life. No, I right. think it's like probably the least enjoyable, unless you're the top dog. Yeah. Even so, like that, so. it's so hard to stay on top. It never there's, stops. There's like maybe one moment so you're you're getting clowned at any second. Yeah, no matter who you are. And that's the the bad thing about accomplishing something is someone's always like, "What's next?" Yeah, and people always never like, oh, do look, anything great. Look at his paycheck. It's like, okay. He's still not enjoying life. Well, he should never accomplish anything. It's, that's dead honest. Just if you win a championship, like the next day, the, the second story is like, are they going to repeat? Yeah. But if you lose a the championship, they understand that you're not going to repeat next year, so you don't even have the pressure. 
Yeah, I was having, losing a championship is better than winning a championship. I was having a conversation about Northwestern's head coach, uh, Fitzgerald, who's a great coach, but he's raised the expectations of that program, so now he's, like, fucked. Doing a good job is bad for your job. Right. He's he's made it so that they expect to win six, seven games, like, but they're Northwestern, so that's not fair. It really isn't. The only enjoyable part is, like, the little climb up, like, the leaps. Yeah. But even so, look at Dion trying to make leaps, and everybody's like, Dion hates HBCUs. Like, yeah. people are just, Dion's not swack. Wasn't there, like, McVay retirement rumors after the Super Bowl last year? Do, I, do you think you regret they have f- three wins? Four? Yeah, four wins. NFL's different. I think NFL coaching is... It's way less pressure. Way less pressure. Not yes. to recruit. College right. is a different beat. Right, and you ultimately, like, someone else is making the roster... It's hard. It's All teams should have GMs. I've I've been saying that. I've been saying that the 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 program should hire legit general managers who deal with like salary cap, NIL, scouting, all that recruiting. Stuff. Yeah, like if you can have someone else do the recruiting and someone else do the coaching, I think that that would be people can people have different skill sets. There are people who are probably way more XO oriented and way more. Well, that's uh, a yeah, that's an actual sports take. I think college football coaches now probably are going to trend towards being GMs more than they are coaches. No, they need GMs. No, but I think going forward with this transfer portal stuff, they're going to the better ones will be the GMs like but what about the GM job well I don't think that's actually going to happen no that should happen was that Al Franken yeah is that Al Franken no oh it looked like Al Franken it's somebody though who is it Al Franken that was a cool ass hat Franken's cool here we had Stein yesterday was that Franken okay, this <laughs> was Frankenstein type shit where the oh. fuck's I gore <laughs> yeah, Frankenstein uh, shit what's that but if that was Al Franken wearing some beat up black chucks on his little sass shit. I mean, I would see. Franken probably doesn't bro. wear great shoes. He was just on some political or some com- comic podcast. Who the fuck was he? Even struggling. Or oh wow! wow you're getting yeah, Jesus he's struggling. Christ. That's the co- yeah, you've, you've taking deep breaths. Yeah, yeah, you're struggling. Won't you go hit ahead. the bench press? It's a lot of food. I had lunch before this. <laughs> I love it. And the bread. The yeah, but you ate, you like, you ate like a bird, bread. dude. You had a fucking salad. You, you, know, of, you, want you want to talk about, want to talk about bitches? <laughs> Men who eat salads. Mm-hmm. Yes. A salad every day. Bitch. I've been on a salad kick for dinner, and it makes me feel really good. For dinner? Man. I mean, for lunch, I understand. It's buffalo dinner. chicken you salad. salad. Here's what you got to do. You got to chop it all up, and you got to toss it to yeah. completion. <laughs> and <laughs> only, what, like 10% of salad places are doing that. You know what the hardest part about Tweaking. Chop it up. I want it all chopped up. Why are you so passionate about telling them how to eat the salad? Well, he's That's how right. I want a salad. I want everything chopped up. I want to taste everything. I don't want it just to be individual things piled on no, one No, no, you're, you're, you're playing building blocks. With chop it all up. Sass, you know what the hardest part about eating a salad is? Remember to take out your tampon before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey-oh. Dad, uh. You like that? Uh-huh. No, but it is nice going to bed, like not being like, wow, I feel terrible. Your food is my food's food. I like to go to bed. Wanting to puke. Yeah, that's what happened oh, in my on. in my sleep. I you guys go to out. bed right after you eat. Oh yeah, right at, immediately. What? Directly after. I eat in in eat in, in my bed. bathroom on your like, way. Yeah, while well, I You're like taking off your shirt, right eat, taking yeah. a bite. That's le- this is legitimately what I do though. It's like no, I do. I do not do. That. I was joking. Yeah, no. I'm to order dinner, lay in bed, eat it, pass out. You eat in bed. There's nowhere else to eat. You do everything in bed. There's nowhere else to eat. It's either that or stand. Have you kitchen. found any food in your bed? <laughs> no, no. It just sticks to his body when he rolls over in his sleep. No, I have a nice little. That. I have a nice little a method. Because you order the Uber Eats, you take the plastic bag that comes with the Uber Eats, you lay that out on the bed. Oh my god! This is... And then. <laughs> Let me explain. And then you eat, put the food so on top of it. But at least your neighborhood's sick. It is an awesome neighborhood. It's worth it. Yeah, at least I don't live fucking four hours away. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. Yeah, I'm looking at you, bro. Me? Yeah. We live 20 minutes away. From where? May as well be four hours. Four hours from where? I live a chip and a putt away. You walk to the office, right? Yeah. All the time. I definitely can get here faster on the subway than you walking. Facts. I, take the sub- I took the subway this morning. It takes me you just said you walk all the time. <laughs> oh, I just switch it up. I usually, I usually take the subway and walk home. This goalpost moving bastard. Don't fucking neighborhood shame me. Also, you cannot take this. You cannot get here faster on the subway than I can walk to my apartment. But I don't have to eat in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you wish you could eat in your bed. Uh, yeah. That's a fact. You wish you, had that. you wish you had that free. I don't have to choose video games yeah, versus air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs>
I can have both. Steven, right, Steve. way to go. Maybe Steve. Team pick. Team. Yep. Oh, it was very good. I, I don't feel great, though. But that's good. go throw up. What? Did you go throw up? That's not fucking funny, all right, bro? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Very insensitive, all right? You're lucky Castellani doesn't have his phone. Oh. That was quite a mince. Wow. That was another great mincy yeah. move. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, the yeah. world's coming down on me. Let me let me talk about how I'm such a good coworker. I called the guy in rehab. Did he do that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was nice of him, I guess. Yeah, no, it was it was sweet, but it also was a little transparent. Oh, it was self-serving. It was, uh, yeah, it was very, yeah, it was yeah. Well, it, crystal yeah. clear. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, uh, <laughs> on the bright side of this crazy day, yeah. I got to talk to one of my best friends. <laughs> Sh- shout out, uh, Chris, D- he he called me once. This was a while ago. Just, uh, Did you pick up? To, yeah, to commend me. Just, to, just to be very nice. Yeah, he sent me the uh, very nice really guy. Like, it really boosted my mood. Yeah, yeah, he's a genuine, really, really good guy. Man. The thing with Tommy is still one of the funniest things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What thing? Oh, we got another we got another autistic dude in the office. Makes me feel good. He's like Tommy. He's talking you're, to Tommy. You're like a hero of mine. People know that? Has that gone public? I don't yeah, think. Dave's talked about that. Dave's multiple. talked about oh, it. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. It's funny. I'm positive. I didn't think that one had gotten out. Yeah. That's it is funny. You Kanye sure? said that to Tommy. I'm positive. Too. You see Kanye yesterday positive? claiming positive. claiming A. Claiming yeah. Crip. Claiming autism. Man. Kanye is. Yeah, he just claimed autism. You can't just do that. No. Kanye's got to claim something at this point. So he's grasping at anything he can. Well, yeah, maybe it's a get out of jail free card. So let's see what sticks. See what works. Like, oh, Two little t- it's like Spacey oh, coming out as gay. Yes, exactly. Two I think he's got to be. Like, that was an all timer, where he's like, I'm I'm coming out of the closet. I think Wait, but dude, we wanted you to apologize for assaulting everyone. <laughs> I'll apologize as a gay man. Yeah. Teaching all of those <laughs> boys. That makes you a gay rapist. You're yeah. 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 Pick an affliction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for two. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, yeah. Okay. Pick one or the other, dude. <laughs> Dog, yeah. Has he done one of his videos recently? The, he always does them at Christmas time. Yeah. As Frank Underwood, is that what that You pull up one of them, TJ? It's so, so weird. unsettling. So weird. Like staring through your soul. Where is he right now? Is he in Italy? Somewhere, yeah. Free man, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's probably living the life still. I'll still watch K-Pax when it's he's on. A, he's been tweeted re- since 2020. Oh, that was the last K- Christmas one? Yeah. Let's and watch it for old time's sake. Oh, so we haven't had a Christmas video in a while. 1-800-Xmas. That's right. <laughs> What would Christmas Eve be without a message from me? <laughs> it would be fine. <laughs> That's right. What would Christmas Eve be without a message from me? That's right. Is that anything yet? Look, this past year, I've... I've... Listen. Yeah. A, a lot of people have reached out to me this past year and have shared their own struggles. With, with being and a rapist? <laughs> my ability to be there for them has really only been possible because of my own difficulties. Does he look and like Bill Murray? He just I'm, I'm done with that. Support, okay. it, you know, the, the, he, he's I such a good actor. He's so good. Like, what a skill. He just said his own problems allowed him to help people with problems. Yeah. He just wrote off his problems. He, he did a tax write-off on his problems. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're actually a good thing. Yeah. He I helps so many people with my problems. He, he needs, needs his problems. Yeah. Thank God he was. I've been contacted by so many rapists, and I've helped them through. I guess, I guess starters, you're gonna want to be gay. I guess. It is, <laughs> I guess it is like when you do perspective, like you could do something bad, and you're like, well, at least I'm not a rapist like Kevin Spacey. Yeah. So, thanks, Kevin. But you probably can't act like him too. Like the only person that even is on the same playing field are some of the greatest actors of all time. But who he, even he, has that? If you are a rapist, you know that he can empathize with you. He outshone. A pit in seven. Yeah. Mm. Just smolders. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. What are you talking about? Yes, he did. Talking about sass. He did. Sass. Sass. You think Pitt outacted him? What's in the the box? box? (laughs) What's in the box? Right. Nobody makes fun of that line. (laughs) (laughs) That is true. Macy was was barely in the movie. He outdid it. He outdid him. He was good in that movie. Stole every scene. I fucking love that movie. Yeah, it rocks. We should do a live watch along. We should just watch like dorm room poster movies one day. Mm. On some COVID, like, huh. like that's what we were doing during yeah. COVID, just watching, throwing on movies. Yeah. 
What are the other dorm room poster movies? Boondock Saints. What movie did we watch? It was old school. Python? Old school. Uh, probably not anymore. Holy Grail? Okay. That was when I was coming. I'd never seen... Uh, we watched name? Hoosiers, right? Yeah, Hoosiers was good. There was one movie we watched like, damn, this movie sucks. A Sandlot. 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 Sandlot might have been... And it. the program wasn't great. Yeah, the program didn't really hold Oh, well, you guys didn't like Sandlot? No, it's just we it hold realized up. that it's just like, it's not really a movie. It's a... It's a skit. Yeah. It's yeah? A, yeah, it's a clip show. Yeah. For the best one we twelve watched. year old. We watched Blue Chips. It was good. Blue Chips is great. I love Blue Chips. I don't think we watched Hoosiers, did we? I think we did. I don't think. We oh, watched so Hoosiers. who? What's the one where someone dry has to dry out? The coach gets drunk and he has to. Well, that's dry Hoosiers. Out? Yeah, yeah, that's we Blue Chips it. as well. Yeah, that's Ben Affleck. What's no. the one where Leonardo well, does uh, heroin? Basketball, Basketball Diaries? Diaries? I haven't seen it. Yeah. That movie is dark. Yeah. Dude. Well, also, yeah. is he a high schooler that does heroin? Yeah, he's just loopy as hell. Does he all of his boys? I think oh, that's wow. the beach. Yeah, no, he does heroin on the beach. He does heroin on the beach? Doesn't he? No, no, I don't think basketball you, you get sand in your, your needle hole. Yeah, that'd be bad. That's some New York shit. What? What doing heroin on the beach as like a uh, like high school kid? Yeah, that's true. I feel like high high school kids in New York always get into like crazy trouble. Yeah. yeah. Not like normal trouble, small town trouble. Yeah. Something rises to it. trouble in New York. I think I really think so. Kids that grew up in New York have seen some crazy shit. I gotta rewatch kids. They're, yeah, they're like taking the subway by themselves when they're like eight. Yeah, yeah, small things rise to trouble when you're in a small town, but in New York, you really have to fuck up. And you also, when you're in a small town, everyone knows, everyone hears about it. Kids is yeah. fucked up. Kids is awesome though. It's awesome, but it's fucked up bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Remember the movie Thirteen? I just remember the poster of the girl sticking her tongue out with her pierced tongue. <laughs> right? Was that the poster? The girl just with throw the HIV around. Blue stain on her tongue. I thought she had a piercing on her tongue. No, that was. Uh, it was both. Chromo remixed to dance. Throw the hiv all around each other. It was a SoundCloud effort, yeah. KB, what are your favorite garage tracks this year? I don't even know. What the, what does that mean? Garage? Like the type of music? Chicago music. Um, Let me look. Garage. Garage. We're talking garage. Like Fred. Fred again. Still the best. Hey, um... He's got some good garage tracks. Yes. We're in the semifinals and we have three thousand dollars on the line. Oh whoa, yeah. Um, what? of the World Cup. The World Cup. So who yeah, has? Big Cat eliminated my best team. Who has Croatia? I I don't. Sassed us. You do? So yeah. it's you you against you. Yeah. Argentina yeah, against yeah. Croatia today. Oh shit, that's today. It's right now. Shit, I I this shit's been going on. Do yeah. people they just go there for a month and just? I still on top. And then tomorrow, it doesn't matter on top. It only matters one brand. Matters to me. Top goals, yeah, it gets a punishment for his. Yeah, uh, but but the the money though is. I think you're pretty much confirmed for top goals. France wins. Yeah. Everyone just owes me a hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, it suck. Yeah, you're Asia. gonna fucking. I already have to spend. France isn't gonna win. On France is gonna win. France England is. almost beat France. You guys have been yeah, saying England played, good. England England played a better game lost. than France. No, they didn't. Yeah, they. No, they didn't. Statistically, they. Oh no, they didn't. Look at the stats. Okay. Only chance they had to score was penalty kicks. Look at the stats. They had more shots on goal, I think. Caleb and I were in maybe deep, we were in deep discussions with Buddha Ben and, and Chef Donnie to run back our Paris video. Yes. Oh. But we can't go on uh Sunday. I got a gambling competition and uh, a bunch of shit to do next week and he's got a bunch of interviews and stuff lined up. So maybe you guys should go Content Hack post it the same one again. Yeah. What? It's the same video. Posted Posted I don't again. think Buddha Ben video. wants that posted again. Yeah, he wants to redo it. He wants to run it back. But we weren't even definitely going to go to France. We were considering Croatia, Morocco. Argentina? Probably not, probably not Argentina. Just pop by Iran when you're on the trip. It it just takes a while to get that visa approved. Everyone's Argentina. like, anytime I post something, people are like, shut the fuck up if you're not in Iran already. It seems like people things have gotten worse there, too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it's day by day. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what if you What if you just flew over? That's not. Is going there a flight there. that goes over Iran? I don't know. It's not going there. But I'm saying you guys should go to one of the countries on se on Sunday. All right. I would mm. do that. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to. No, yeah. it's fucking Nick and KB. My bad. My bad. All right. You have son of a boy dad to do. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, Nick and KB go to Morocco. Take the country, I'll go. You guys go to France with Chef Donnie? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to come with you guys. 
I don't think so, Sass. You're going to sit at home in your little crumb bed. Yeah, yeah you crumb bed. I will say there's crumbs. Yeah, oh, there's crumbs. crumbs. Where's that? I mean, how could there You weren't not? like this when we had to go to Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> you weren't down for Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> Bro, I, would have, I actually would have loved to go there. I think that video comes out tonight. tomorrow. I thought it was tonight at 8. What? T- oh, oh, no, Alaska tomorrow video. Tomorrow at 8. Oh, Alaska came out already. No. Oh. Oh man! They filmed it, it early, order. but this is the last oh. one. It was right before it got. We had to go there because it was about to get dark all the time. T Lowe's on his flannel shit. Yeah, he is. We've lost dancing. Mm. You know that song, KB? Dancing. No, oh, no, not that one. The Fred again one, bro. Yeah, I don't like those little sound bites he throws in. I do like them. Danced so hard last night. I like that shit. Did we spend the real oil? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we got to well, oh, let's you, do real you, back. And can you guys also fill me in on what's, uh, what happened with the uh, a present, yes. present gift wheel? Yeah, you have to buy a gift. What, what, what's Ron at? What, oh, Ron at I think he's at like 100. 100. $400? Oh, You're at 100. 100. Or 80, maybe. You might be 80. No, I'm 80. Steven just said you are 100. Pull it up, Steven. I'm 100. I already bought my gift. Oh, see? It's 80. Yeah, um, oh, yeah did you guys see my text last night about that? Yeah. We're, I, like, know, I can't do that. No. I can't buy multiple. I have to buy one. One. Okay. There's not a ton of options. I bought mine yesterday, too. What? That's one of you boys wants a nice Online? bison. Yeah. I bought two things that add up $60. Whoa. Well, you one, can do that. But one was... Like, yeah, I think you can do it, but yeah, you got to... I. You can do it, but you have to... Like, it has to be a big thing. Don't get, like, a my, bunch of $20. Thing. I was, like, 52 plus a trinket. So Right. Like, yeah. if you get a $450 thing plus a little thing. Okay. Fuck. I think you have to be in the ballpark. I think it has to be 400 plus. Okay. It's easier. Go to uh, Roback.com right now. Use code YAK. 20% off all polos, Q-zips, hoodies, and the joggers. The most comfortable joggers in the world. I wear them every single weekend. R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off all polos, Q-zips, hoodies, and the joggers. Promo code YAK on Roback. They have comfortable. This vest is Roback. Mm-hmm. I think Brandon's wearing Roback. I am. Roback is the most comfortable clothes you've ever worn in your life. Every time we do the college football show, I get a new hoodie, and it's like, holy shit, my life is even better now. I got a great life to begin with, but now I have a really great life because I have a Roback hoodie. Yeah, Roback does it. It takes yep. you over the top. Yep, takes it. It's the cherry on top of a great life. Yeah, Roback.com. That, co- that college football show was great for the wardrobe this year. Great for the ro- wardrobe. Use code YAK. 20% off your first purchase. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, and the joggers. You see me on a Sunday? I got the joggers on. You do. That's a fact. That's just a fact. Yeah. I wear those joggers all weekend long. I love those joggers. They are super, super comfortable. You and handsome, know, yeah. too. They're handsome. Handsome. They make you look handsome. handsome. Not that you're not already handsome, but they make you look even more handsome. It's this elite look you get from the Roback. Extra handsome. Code Yak. Roback.com. 20% off your first purchase. They also have some great Roback co-branded oh. bar stool. Oh. And pardon my take. Oh, oh the riding lessons. Oh. Yeah. Back foot oh. Over the back. Oh. I'm staying low. How's this guy not hard? Oh. oh. Okay. But the dick go. has to pop out. I would come. Goes over the back. I'm staying low. Turning around. Oh. Oh. (laughs) How else would you do it? (laughs) Shit. I think well, there there has to be some load bearing by that man. (laughs) Yeah. Hell yes. He she has to kind of squat down and keep it inside, and uh, she has to go sit sit bones to hip on him. What are you all cheesing yeah, about? Key, oh, jeez. Every reply is just <laughs> real porn. Well, oh, that was uh, pretty close to us just watching porn on the stream. That would have been sick. Every reply is like, oh, so like this? And it's just porn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The boys in the booth. They're really they're really loving it. They got they have fun in there. Yeah. We do. do a swap show someday where we're all in the booth. Oh, wow. You guys threw me off today with the seating arrangement. I would love that. Would be sick if we just ran a show, like the Simpsons Halloween episode. Yeah, some shit like that. A crossover episode. All of us in the booth, shit, like when the Jetsons and the Flintstones will cross over. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Simpsons and Family Guy. Did they do that? They did. Mm-hmm. It was a good one. Really? Yeah, the, the Griffins went to Springfield. Yeah. Uh, Steven, can you go get Men- Mincy to finish the show with the fast banana? And let's do this wheel. Yeah, let's do this wheel. Chances are Mincy's probably already gone on vacation, but 
We can try. Oh, he's going to make us all clap for him. Yeah. We've lost dancing. All right. What's the name wheel? No, we're getting down to it, though. Love the name wheels. We got fake snow for Friday. Oh, what? A, no. a tree. Apparently enough to cover the entire. <laughs> of the oh, I thought you were talking about Fenton. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want it to be like six inches of snow. I'm in here. so excited for, the, for this Christmas special. I need to go get the dress clothes and the gift. Oh, I forgot about the dress clothes. Are we wearing dress clothes? Yeah. Fantastic. How dressy? Dressy. Unless Mary? you're a real goofball. We're not gonna, it's not going to be shit. like a case race. Like it's going to be. We're going to drink, but we're not going to like. Try to get blackout drunk. I never Let did. Let it ease it in. Okay. So dressy. Christmas dressy or dressy dressy? Either or. Could you do Christmas dressy? Like a like a red sweater with a turtleneck? Nice turtleneck. I, I do have uh, that Chris Evans sweater from Knives Out. Yeah, any sweater I think will do, Nick, even yeah. though you don't have a... I'll do that. ...button down. I have uh, a question. Yes. Uh, when we do the Yankee swap, what... What rules do you guys play by? Uh, oh, no. We, we'll we don't, don't know how to do that. See. <laughs> Got it. <Huh. laughs> there, there's going to be some good-ass items. Nice try, TJ. Are y'all nervous that Sass is going to botch the $500 gift? No. I'm not even. What do, what do you mean? A you lot think of thought into this. Uh, no, I'm not nervous. He is. Okay. Yeah, there's no nerves. How do you botch it? All right, Mincy. Buy a $500 gift. Send the yak. We were, you're going away. Vacation. Christmas vacation starts on the thirteenth. You look like a vacation. Like a I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna be some show appearances and bogs. We're gonna do a little work. What, what do we, we got work. planned? A little work. We're some stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna get some good, good gambling content. We're something. gonna get morning. Well, I'm gonna start morning bowl every day. Morning bowl game gambling videos. Just oh shit! Day. I think that'd be something that'll be nice. Uh, that'll be, that'll be a good bit of fun. So, every day, look out for those. I like that. Yeah, I think it'll be good. But I'm gonna yeah. start some early morning bowl game videos. Yeah, I need to do the wake, wake up Mincy. I got, I got some ideas, boy. What time's that gonna be? I mean, you know, what time is it? If the kickoffs at 11 a.m., we'll, we'll have a solid, you know, drop it by 10 a.m., 10:30. Okay, nice. Yeah, we'll give it the solid, you know. With the solid, solid wake up. But uh, yeah, man. Y'all, so what are we doing here? We want to last. Last banana day. Oh, the yeah. show for the road. For the road, we the were road. talking about our favorite. I miss you. Yeah, I appreciate it. That was uh, appreciate it. Uh, in the in the standard bar stool tradition uh, since I've been here, you know, of course, just getting rained on on the way out. But you know, that's that's. Oh, oh so yeah. That, that. <laughs> you created the rain. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. A lightning rod for rain. You pissed on your own shoulder, and you're like, "Whoa, is this rain?" You'll survive. I uh, yeah. You're Mincy. You're Mincy. You do it. Oh, he's gonna set a record. Okay, I've got. I hadn't eaten yet today. Very pointy banana. It's a pointy ass banana. I hadn't eaten yet today, so I think I'm. Oh wow. That'll be good for aerodynamics. Right. Dog's dick. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Turn, look to the camera. Shout out Brandon Walker. See the banana. See the banana. Shout out to Brandon Walker for saying I should be fired yesterday. He'll be freezing his ass off in New Jersey. Oh, I didn't say that. Don't worry about the mic. Don't worry Fair. about the mic. All right. Just read a countdown here. Just, just do Three, Wherever you go. Two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's in. Oh. 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 That's Nine seconds. That was a fast banana. That was banana. a fast, fast banana. And the sound was the worst. <laughs> oh, so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, all y'all in this room. What, well, like, seriously, y'all all been great to me, including the production team. Uh, Zosh, it's Steven, too. Just all great people. Very lucky to work for this company. And uh, I just want to make sure y'all know. I feel I'm like, a, including Brandon, especially Brandon. Especially Brandon. Yeah, especially no, Brandon. Brandon, I mean, I wouldn't be like, we've got, you know, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> we go at it, but, uh, you know. Vince, could you power rank your, your best moments of the year? We did like a little thing. Do PFT sang the city of New Orleans to me on acoustic guitar. At the oh end wow! Of town. Unbelievable. I got a little, got a little sentimental. Yeah, yeah, yeah you would. Shh. And uh, if we're ever down to New Orleans, come on with it, man. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. We're gonna we're gonna be down there doing the thing and uh, be hitting a lot of pin prop, a lot of pin presence in Louisiana. Gonna be doing hopefully me and Megan doing some fun stuff around that. But love it. We're gonna do it anyway. I'll talk forever. Yeah. All right. Well, we love you, Mincy. Hey, thank, Mincy. Thank, thank, it's thank all you, love. Big it's thank all you. love. Uh, thank you for everything. All right. Let's end the yak. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Okay, hey, Mincy. Give it up for Mincy. See everyone tomorrow. Get back here, Brandon.
Bye, Mincy. Thank you, Mincy.